I'm Gabe Jewell, and this is Comic Smack, the weekly comic book show where we take closer, more in-depth looks at the coolest, most happening comic book storylines going on currently. And on today's show, we're going to be looking at Grayson, issue number 17. Maxwell Lord is helping Dick take the fight to his old friends at Spiral. Let's find out what happens next. So as the comic opens, Grifter, yes, that's right, Grifter, has come to Tau, that is the tactical augmented organism, yet another Wildstorm character. On behalf of the greater intelligent syndicate, in hopes of tracking down Helena Bertinelli's two rogue agents. How it would seem used to work for the Syndicate, but because of his penchant for taking things apart, he was quickly locked up, and because he's a powerful psychic, only Grifter is able to talk to him without getting his mind manipulated. Wow, in like two pages, this comic has shown more love to the Wildstorm universe than, oh, I don't know, anything DC has done in the last four years. When we check in with Grayson and Tiger, they're deep within the jungles on the hunt for another Syndicate agent. In this case being Frankenstein, Agent of Shade. Now, how could two powerless super agents ever hope to take down a being like Frankenstein who transcends humanity? Well, simple, they're not going to play fair, that's how. They've been gifted their own ambient technology, think a poor man's power ring to create light constructs. And with that, they're not only able to beat Frankenstein, but actually freeze him into submission, much like the original Frankenstein novel for those who read it. These fancy new toys were gifted to our heroes by Max. Maxwell Lord and Checkmate. Grayson makes it very clear that they are not friends with Maxwell Lord, nor do they truly approve of what Checkmate is doing, but he's their best bet right now. Lord doesn't like them too much either. If you'll remember a few arcs back, he attempted to frame Dick Grayson for murder. He's really only assisting them now in the dismantling of Spiral and the Syndicate, because when the dust settles, that means Checkmate will once again be the number one spy agency in the DC Universe. To which, you know what, I say more power to Checkmate and Maxwell Lord. Lord, Argus always bugged me, can you dismantle them next? Dick and Tiger get a chance to stop and ponder the severity of their actions right now. It's a pretty brotastic moment wherein Tiger says while he may not have liked Dick at first, while he may always question his actions, at the end of the day, they are good friends. This moment is shattered, however, as they come under attack by Grifter. And oh man, the interplay between him and Dick is more than worth the price of admission. Dick makes fun of him for being another gravelly-voiced loner in a sea of millions just like me even calls him handkerchief face. It's a tough battle for sure. Grifter manages to use his psychic abilities to predict Dick's moves before he can make them, but Dick is such a great detective, he's able to profile Grifter during their battle. Saying how he carries two big guns into the battle, yet doesn't seem like he actually wants to kill any humans. Our heroes manage to get the upper hand in the battle and make a quick exit. Grifter returns to Tau for his prognosis on the whole situation, and wouldn't you know it, Tau says to truly break Dick Grayson what he needs to to do first is break Helena Bertinelli. Doing so would not only hurt Dick, but it would pull out the also important Jenga piece that would bring Otto, Nets, and Spider crumbling down around all of them, but that will have to wait for next issue. Grayson number 17 was another solid issue. It's already been announced as part of the DC Rebirth initiative that the whole Grayson spy storyline will be coming to an end, and the more classic Nightwing will be returning. And because of this, I truly do feel vindicated in what I said last week, that it feels like the writer Celie and King have truly thrown the shackles aside and are now just doing whatever sort of crazy out there stuff they've always wanted to do. We get funny song numbers, we get whole entire pages dedicated to Wildstorm characters. I kinda love it. It seems like whatever they're going to do, Dick Grayson's time as a spy is going to go out with a major bang, and for that, I give this issue a 7. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll feel like checking out some more videos I have on offer here at Cape Jewel.